Yeah, okay, so will we ever achieve full centralized data harmonization across business capabilities? I think it's a challenging, it's a, it's a challenging objective to achieve because, uh, and it's not just in this industry, in many industries this has been tried before. So in the ideal utopian world, what you're able to do is have one massive database, one massive pot of data, everything flows into that. That would be the ideal world of doing it. You can manage it easily. Um, but the biggest problem with that is that there are too many other factors, external factors that you can't control that, that really prohibit that. There's change in technology. That might mean that whatever you thought was good at the time is not good later on. There's uh, regulatory changes potentially. There's also uh, merger and acquisition activities that basically really prohibit you being able to have that one last clean pot of data. And I think you know, when we historically thought about things like massive data management systems, for example, uh, that's what people try to achieve. They try to achieve this one big pot of data and began to realize that it was not really achievable. An example is that a company that I know, they thought, oh, let's create a pot like that. Uh, and they had many, many discussions and suddenly came up with literally thousands of fields that were important to the company detrimental to the company. The problem is they realized it was almost impossible to handle. And at the end of the day, their master data management system consisted of 22 fields. That's what they agreed on. It was the lowest common denominator across all of the systems. And that was the pragmatic way of doing it. So achieving a central pot across all business capabilities is a nice vision, but I haven't seen it actually happen in practice. And how do you see the regulations influence all of this? <clears throat> and that they are the ones that are also driving, first of all, that we've been talking about data today. So they're the driver. But at the same time, they're also making it complicated. Because if you are in control of your data yourself, you can decide when you make the changes. If the regulator decides they need to change it, then you, th at that moment in time, you lose control. So you suddenly, you know, the regulator becomes almost like a customer for you. They say they want it this way, you have to change it. And that again can have an impact on your overall approach of how you structure your data. Because what you thought of five years ago may no longer be relevant to how the agency might want to see it today. And then we're just talking about one agency or one regulator. The world consists of many regulators. And, and, and therefore, every one of them slightly interpreted differently what they want. And that makes it even more complicated. So it really is an exponential issue at the end of the day. And how do you see unstructured data fit into all of this? <clears throat> well, I think that will always remain an issue because with unstructured data, uh, I don't really see uh, that there's a, a magic wand that you can use to suddenly create structured data out of unstructured data. I know that there are tools out there, I know that AI is partially used for this as well, but at the end of the day, I think it's the human being that needs to confirm whether what was found and what, how the data was tagged is actually accurate or not. Uh, and uh, because there's too many variables. I mean, to give you one example, you know, 400 no space milligrams or 400 space milligrams. For the human being, for the brain, you understand it's the same thing. And this is just an easy example, but a computer that needs to read this might not identify it as the same thing. So it really gets very complicated. You know? And to be able to consolidate that and make it understandable, at the end of the day, I think unstructured data uh, is in my view still to a large part maybe with some help from IT of course to semi-automate process is a manual task where the human brain actually needs to help sort that out. So where would you start? <laughs> well I think at the end of the day you need to have first of all control of your data uh, so you have to understand what do I even have within the spectrum of, of my organization um, and break it down into individual components and then what you have to do is build a map how important is this particular data if it's extremely critical, for example, data that I might reuse for regulators in the future, then at that moment in time, you spend more effort in trying to break that down. If you understand, if you think, okay, this is not as critical, ultimately, I would not invest too much time to it. Yes, you might want to make it semi-searchable and findable, but ultimately, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend too much time on it. So you really have to look at, at the end of the day, the reward that you might get out and how you might use it as well.